Hey everybody, this is a video following up from the last uh, video I did about the uh, due diligence fee, um, the difference between a due diligence fee and uh, earnest money. And on that video, um, one of the social media outlets that was posted on had a few comments about it, um, about the due diligence fee in North Carolina, how it is, um, I think one person said highway robbery and another person just said that it wasn't fair. Um, so as, as realtors, as, as real estate agents, um, we have no control over the forms, um, or, or the process of how, how, how the, uh, transactions go. But to put in perspective, what happens is, um, in North Carolina, uh, we do have a forms committee with our, our, um, MLS and it's a bunch of agents and they just basically read the contracts and addenda and whatever, and give their opinion. Then it's sent to the um, the bar, the NC bar, the, the panel of attorneys, lawyers that write the contracts. So in a nutshell, I don't know how many years ago, but let's say 10 years ago when the due diligence fee started, when you wrote a contract, there was earnest money only and no diligent due diligence fee. So a buyer would essentially put down 1%. So a $400,000 house, they put down $4,000. And instead of a due diligence period, um, there are all these contingencies. There's a paragraph for finance contingency. There's a paragraph for repair contingency. And you would write in like $5,000 repair contingency. And what that means is you could have an inspection and go, oh, Mr. Seller, this is going to cost more than five grand. We're getting out of it. So the seller, again, in a nutshell, the seller basically didn't have a leg to stand on or they the buyer could most often walk a day before closing and the seller would get nothing. So the, um, the NC bar made the due diligence period, uh, to help the seller so they could at least get something. And it started out like $500 due diligence fee and then earnest money. And then 2020 happened low inventory and it just went nuts. And somewhere one buyer or somewhere one agent said, Hey, let's not give any earnest money. Let's give a buttload of due diligence fee. Don't even do a due diligence period and uh, see if we get the house. It worked. Then it kind of caught on. And now that's, you know, what we've seen. But we are starting to see um, it split again with earnest money and due diligence and a due diligence period. It's starting to get that way. Hopefully it'll stay that way or right, it'll get back there and stay. Just wanted to clear that up. Um, that's how the due diligence fee came to be. Let me know if you need anything. Call me.